Okay, we're live. It is Valentine's Day, 14th of February 2015. A very happy, loving day to everybody out there in the world. This is Hukolo webinar live with Jim and some Hukolo friends. I'm here with Kim in Australia today. Hello. It's a very special day for us. We might have a little announcement for you later on. But the main star of the show today is Jim and also the people that have joined us right here, right now. So Nida's helping out as well as Gabriel. We also have Brian, Caroline, Gabriel, uh, Caitlin, Noha, Sher, and Barbara, I believe that's correct. And a big welcome to you all. Thank you so much for turning up and making it happen today. We've sorted out our little feedback problems. Jim's got a new mic and we're ready to rock and roll. So, also, Jim has a couple of friends he might like to introduce to the world today. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I have three people here today. Francine, you know already, she's over on my meditation chair. Would you like to come and say hello, Francine, or are you meditating? You're good, you're good. You're, she said she, she's good. Okay. <laughs> to my right here and your left will be Will, who's been here before. And to my left and your right yeah. is uh, Matt. And um, he's our uh, first time visitor here, and uh, he's been watching for a couple of weeks. So very good. I'm glad you could join us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So awesome. and the people here are from everywhere. So awesome. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you. Brilliant. So I want to give a big welcome to everybody that's tuning on YouTube as well. The uh, the numbers are packing up. Um, Sabrina can't be with us today. She's feeling a little bit fluish. So we're going to do our best without her. It's always a pleasure to have her energy and company with us, and it's always really missed. So I wish her a speedy recovery and get well soon, sweetheart. We all love you, and we'll send you some energy in the psychic mail. And if I may add, I have a friend named Nancy who's having a really bad day today, and she lives in town here. I'd, I'd like you to send her all some energy right now because she has um, vertigo and she's going through many, uh, many hardships at this time and to be ill on top of it is really not so good. So I'd like to uh, just have you take one minute and send her some energy because she was really not in a good space when I talked to her today. But I would like her to end the day in a better space. I told her to go out home and sit because when she lays down the vertigo it doesn't go away so um, let's send her a little energy for just one minute now and uh, hopefully she will well I know that she'll get better because you guys have a lot a lot of great love and energy so um, if you would just take a minute sure Her name is Nancy. Nancy. Hanshaw Zaisho Nen is long distance healing. Coming from every corner of the world, focused into that spot. Needed the most. Very good. Thank you, everybody. Wow, that's a lot of good energy. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of really good energy. Thank you, and uh, it's it's going to her now, and it's it will continue to flow from you. Because once you start that stream and intend it to stay there, it will stay there for a little while with her. So that'll be wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful. It also gives us opportunity today with Sabrina being away that if anybody would like to step up and do blessings today, 
um, in exactly. that language or whatever form, there's an opportunity there for people to step up and, uh, and shine today. So I, I welcome that uh, in today's webinar. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Is any other announcements? I think we're good. Okay. I have an announcement. Um, I know Safira is not here right now because she is working, but uh, our uh, Liren's son was born on February 11th, and he's 16 pounds, 2 ounces, and his name is Joseph. And um, I think it's important to let you know that he is in really good health. Human Colony is about that ki this kind of thing as well as the ascension and becoming part of the galaxy and loving and it it's just another thing that binds us all together so I just th thought it was important to make that announcement thank you for sharing that Jim and congratulations <laughs> thank you congratulations. thank you and uh, we will be uh, uh, more information will come I'm sure but uh, I won't do it. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that. Thank you. And also, welcome everybody today. And is there any special entity that wants uh, that you want to hear today or want to invite? I know that some people have written me notes and to do invitations because they can never get on the site, so they wrote me some texts and asked me to do certain certain entities as well. So, but um, I. I have a request. Yes. Um, uh, he was spoke of in the Bible, um, Melchizedek. I knew that's who you were going to say. Yes. Um, yes. Somebody else has already requested Melchizedek. Yeah. Or Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Or the one in the Urantia book, Machabena Melchizedek. So any of them. Yes. The, uh, there's not much written about him. I but... Know. Uh, but he is they important. Used call, they used, yes, they used to call him the Sage of Salem. Yes, but uh, is is there a lot written about him? I I didn't see very much. So I because I wanted probably, to study probably him. Probably in, in the ancient books, there's some. Yes, he's in one of the Old Testament areas. So yes. So yes, okay, may I a dad. Also, there's uh, people that are ordained. Do you know the Hebrew name? Maybe I know of him if he's in the Old Testament. Yes, uh, Melchizedek. It's Melchizedek. 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 Yes, Melchizedek. Jim? Yes. Because it's Valentine, we need an angel presence also? Ah, Lucifer, of course. Yeah. Are somebody okay. representing Valentine's Day? I didn't even think of that. Yes, okay. Of course. Okay. I hope it's a great idea. possible, all of, all of the three. Day of Peace and stuff. If you Google it, it'll show up on a bunch of... He said, uh, is it Archangel? Archangel, Mikhail, or Mikhail, yeah. Michael? Yeah. Yes. Archangel Michael may be coming through. He, sa he said he uh, said something about today, so that uh, being a day of peace and love. Mm-hmm. Michael? Possibly Archangel uh, Gabriel. Jim. I'm Gabriel, yes. And I didn't get that, pardon me? Lakesh and Takar is always welcome. Of course. Yeah, and, and anyone with an important message. Yes. Uh, Jim, can we have as many uh, entities as possible today, please? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, you guys keep asking questions to the entities, oh, and so they don't get to change out. Yeah, just don't make it one. <laughs> just make it several. One, one, one or two or three. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, because sometimes somebody will come, and there's like 100 questions for them, so they stay and stay and stay. So, <laughs> so there's no chance for anybody else, and they're, they're sort of, they sort of just stay around and answer questions. So that's up to you guys. If you want to hear a lot, then you can cut it off after a certain point because I have no control of that. Okay. Okay. Right. Just, just to let you know, I have no control. If you keep asking questions, I'll keep answering unless they have to go. 
Sure. So. Okay, we'll be aware of that, Jim, and we will make maximize our questions in the best way possible for these as well. All right. Very good. <laughs> well, alrighty. I'm going to uh, see you later. I guess I'll get started now. There's been several requests, and um, there's also some online requests for BAST. Um, oh, I can't even remember them all. If they come through, they come through. So, um, um, Oniitis, Onionis, Onionis. I'm not even sure who that is. But there were some requests for different entities. Okay, well, I will see you later. If there's any questions now, uh, ask now before I go. <laughs> All right, very good. Yes? Go? No, ha? Huh? We are. We're good. We're good. Okay, very good. Go ahead, Jim. You All right, very good. I'll see you later. Okay. Have a nice one. Yes, my friends. I am Michael, Michael, however you pronounce it, an angel from the Nine Realms, coming to give you a message about Valentine's Day. Yes, it is about love and peace, but it is also a celebration of a martyr who gave his life because of those things that were right. Valentine's Day is a celebration of a spiritual man who was great in his time, would not obey authorities to do what was wrong, but to do what was right. This celebration brings peace, love, and joy to humanity. And it has become a romantic holiday. However, do not forget, within romance, there is trust, honesty, love, desire. This man, Valentine, had all these things as well and become a representative of mankind for goodness and love. It was actually the holiday that started the first cards or first m momentums one to another. This is a great thing. It is something of a connection when you give something to someone else. It was the first celebration to give something to someone else. And it became so popular. And it became a ritual. But do not forget the man. Do not forget the actions of doing right. Of doing right. Instead of listening to the government or the kinds of things that they want. Peace, love, and understanding are eternal. This life you live, temporary, and sometimes unfulfilling, 
But yet you learn your lessons when you go to the Oversoul. And find what you have done and what you have really learned. Besides those things that you accepted as learning in this world. Do not forget the actions that brought about such a wonderful ritual. I am here to watch you grow, to give you knowledge, and just to inspire that which is already in you, to come to a fuller understanding of a total love, a bigger love, a bigger picture, an all-inclusive love that includes even the unlovable. It's hard to do. But blessings to you. I will not ask you to ask questions because this is not your time for me to speak to you in this way. But I am here to give you love on a day of love, on a day of understanding, to give you understanding. Thank you. Be well. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming through and giving us this information, our infinite gratitude and love in return for this clarity of the message that is so much repeated in today's society, but yet lost in a lot of commercialism in our, in our, uh, in our. It way. is lost. Remember the man. Remember what he stands for, and remember to be like him in some ways. To be obedient to your resonations, to your heart and to your soul, to your understanding of what is right, to the positive. Much love to you. And there is someone coming else. Namaste, dear one. Namaste. I am Bast. Welcome, Bast. From Egypt. Oh, fabulous. Your timing has been awaited. Thank you for coming through today. You are with the Huclo group members on a live webinar. Would you be happy to take questions or would you like to share something with us right now? Let me share something first. I was, as you know, in the past, a powerful female. But other than that, I want to share that I was loving and playful. I was giving and honest. But when it came time to protect my people, I was a strong warrior. But yet, today is a day of love. And therefore I give you my love and playfulness. Then I will answer questions. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, could you please describe yourself to us?
because I'm confused. Are you the cat-like entity, or I'm not sure? Uh, I'm a lion. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I get you. Now. But I Thank can you. also be associated with the common domestic cat. But I was really a lioness. Do you have a relationship with the Lyran species? Is this connected? There is some relation. It is not direct. We are cousins in some senses. Uh -huh. Thank you. The, is the Sphinx a link to you? It is. In how? In what way? I was the most popular of the ancient goddesses. Therefore, my likeness is very multiple. Bess, may I request, please, uh, as a goddess in your society, uh, how did you practice within that position? How did I practice? Yes, what was your role? My role was leadership. I was one of the only female leaders with power. There was no male except for Ta and Amun. But they gave me power to rule in some areas of the south of Egypt because they had to be other places. Who are they, by the way? You're saying hey, they. Who are they? Ta and Amun are my husbands. Uh -huh. Also, it has been said that I was created by Ra. He is the one who put the power in me, but he is not directly my father. Thank you. I, I have a question. How is Ra and how is Ra related to Yahweh? They are sometimes as one. It depends on how they want to interact with humanity. Because I've heard that a Lord Yahweh in the ancient biblical times, uh, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, they always talk of a lesser gods. And then they talk about the, the big god, is what we call yes. as God. But the lesser gods, the extraterrestrial ones that saw themselves as gods. But they said Yahweh, and I was wondering if Yahweh was a lesser god. Yahweh, on the level of Ra, that is correct. Is Ra on the same level as an angelic, an angel, or a little lesser? No. Lesser. Okay, thank you. But much greater than humanity, of course. And much greater than many of the species that Is were Ra. of the time. They Was were leaders Ra. in the galaxy, even uh -huh. then. So is Ra considered an Elohim? He is not. Okay. Hello, Bas. Bast. Bast. I'm sorry. That is okay. My name is Shir, and i wondering if I had any past life in your period. You did. Can you tell me if we had any relationship? You were of a high estate in that time. But it is not for me to speak of that at this time. Mm -hmm. Bas, I have a question. Regarding the uh, the ancient temp temples in Egypt and the Sphinx itself, they're de 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 getting destroyed. So can you do something about 
saving it, or this is out of hand? The the temple at Bubastia was destroyed, but there are still many evidences of us there. Your planet is barbaric and was even more so then than now. Consciousness of greatness flew through many minds because they could see opportunities. But I was strong and it was not destroyed during my lifetime. Bubastia was still there. The temple. What about the destruction? Can you save it? There is not to be saved anything that has been destroyed. Unless you go back into your eras through dimensional patterns. But I am not at liberty to change what has happened. But there are things there that will speak about me even more than what they have found. The time period that this took place where you were physically in that time period, is that after uh, the destruction of Atlantis? Yes. So this would be what, Sumerian time, six to seven, eight thousand years ago? It would be what you would call almost three thousand years before Christ. Oh, okay. So well within the time. Okay. Thank you. Actually, two thousand eight hundred seventy years before Christ. Uh, hello, Bast. Bast, yes. Continue. Um, it, is nice. it is nice to meet you. Um, he, um, it is known in our timeline that you are called the goddess of fertility. Did you deal with any fertility things in your timeline? I am always seen with a litter of kittens. That is why that is so. But I was actually... A warrior goddess. That was my first title. Before I became a fertility goddess. Do you understand? I had Nubian attacks that I must confront. And so that I was considered a lady of destruction. Or a lady of power. Strength. That what was other, my first title. What other Strength. races did you interact with at that time? What other races, extraterrestrial races? I would not interact personally with other species other than the humans because I was not a male. The males interacted with other species. I was subservient to Ta and Atum. So I did not interact with them, but I was given power of the south of Egypt to act as I will because they knew I was strong. Were you born half human or your genetics or was it a mixture or did you come from off world? That is a very interesting question. I was born on your world, but I am actually ancestry-wise not part of it. Ah, thank you. So, who is the being known as uh, Zetmet? Zetmet is also known as Mephurium Tum in your language, Menfortum. He is the god of several things. War. He's actually a god of scents and spices, perfumes, and herbs. Do you know this? Uh, yes. No. Um, the only information that 
we have on Zekman is that uh, he was actually a female warrior that bathed in the blood of her enemies. Interesting. Actually, it was a male with feminine characteristics, but very vitally a warrior. I have a question from Hyam. That's very feminine. That is why it's depicted as female at times. I have a question Continue. from... Yes, uh, Hyan asks a question. Uh, Hyan wanted to know, when was the Phoenix built? It was after my time, but only slightly. Okay. 27... Hundred years before Christ. Actually, some dated older, but it was changed. So their readings are not quite correct. And also, Hyan wanted to know was there others from your race at that time that was there? Oh, many. My husband's. Atum and Ta were there. Also, after and before, there were many. My children, of course, were gods and goddesses of a lower rank because of their personalities were not as strong. They did not take leadership abilities, but shared the accustomed hierarchy that they deserved. Also, there was Nephratus and many others. As you know, many names. I can go into many names, but it is not necessary. But there are many. Zakut. And, yes, and one last thing. From I, I, yes. Is yes. One last thing from Hyan. Also, where did they come from? Like different star systems. Was it Sirius? Andromeda, as you call it. Yes. At this point beyond the Andromeda section, where there is other canine species, cousins, cat, cat species, in Pleiadian space, etc. We are a cat species, lion. Are you, are you also related to any of the Syrian energies? We have been there. We have met them and have had many relations with them, but we cannot breed with them. Thank you. That's all I have. I have, uh, a, Kim question. have a question for you, uh, Bast. Go ahead. Yes, best. Hello. Uh, again, I'd like, just like to ask you, I am assuming uh, that you are in spirit. I'm wondering, do you function as a higher self to uh, any earthly beings right now, or do you yes. exist as a spirit guide, or just in the collective? I do function in many ways still. A higher self and also on a council of the ascended masters. I am considered a high spirit, having experienced many lifetimes as a leader. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fast, I have one question, please. Um, I'm so fascinated about the Egyptian culture and Egyptian tradition, the ancient Egyptian one. If you meditate according to that, like the Sphinx, the pyramids, could you get the energy from that? It is still available in the pyramids. If you were to enter, you would feel a strangeness, although the air is not the same because it is filled with other elements now. The crystals clarified the air and energized it 
and now the air is stuffy. But the energy can still be felt in some of the rooms that still have crystals within the walls that are unknown. When you walked the earth, did you use the temples or the the, um, the pyramids as teleportation, transportation at, at that of time? Of course. And we had our places in the south as well. But Atum and Ta had more power when it came to moving to other places. Having not had the pyramids in the south, but the temple was also very powerful at yes. Bubeth. Yeah. So they did have crystals on top, triangular. They, yes, before I moved to the south, I was there to see them. A grand fight, of course. Yes. And many of the kings found me very beautiful. And with my energy and strength and confidence, I was able to conquer the Nubians. Uh, uh, speaking of Nubians, um, was Anubis a being who existed within your time? Anubis was the god of the dead. He would be the one that prepared the pharaohs for their journey across the great river to eternity. That is how we believed in it at that time. Our belief systems have changed since then, but Anubis was a powerful and feared Wait, he was feared? Yes, because he could control what happens after death. At least that's how they believed. And he could control what beings were to die with the pharaohs and be with them on the trip. So he was feared by the servants. The those close to human pharaohs. Now, with the gods and the goddesses, we were taken away. We were not sent through that means to get to our paradise. Oh, you also mentioned that you conquered the Anubians. Like, uh, what do you mean? There was like conflicts that went on between the two races. They had a very powerful king that wanted our land. But we knew where our end and our beginning were. So we kept them at bay. And finally, they became part of us. We conquered them and took their land. Um, getting some energies. Was I, have I ever encountered you in Egypt before? Yes. Um, are you able to say what happened? You were one of my great slaves. You were one of my many that I could trust. You were a woman at that time. But strong in mind and took no deter deterrence from anyone. You were very loyal. Very strong and studied the magic of the ancients. Uh, your race, what is the name of it? 
There is no name that you have for our race. Okay, we, I'd like to ask... Sorry, Bast. Please carry on. We go by the name of the Raw. That is our species. Many thanks. Um, I would like to ask the people in the room with you if they have any questions to ask you. Continue. There, there are no others here, no yes. Answers. Continue. Okay, Bust, I have two burning questions. The first one is, um, why is the half-hybrid entities that were tied down to this Egyptian civilization, the ancient Egyptian civilization, was tied down to Egypt and nowhere else? That's one. Okay? The other question, I'll ask it afterwards. Because of who we were and the time that we were in, we wanted to study. We were not interested in world interaction necessarily. It did happen. But we were there to study and to understand the things that were were important to us. Also, Egypt is a dry land, desert, like our own home world. It was more comfortable to be there than anywhere else. Okay. The other question, uh, what, have you reincarnated after that? Have I what? Reincarnated after that? Of course. After being but not, what? but not on this world. I uh -huh. only spent one life on your planet. Okay. I okay, spent what, what much a, time in the spiritual realm rather than going life to life because I have learned much from the experiences I had in a spiritual realm that was higher than the one I am in now. It is mm -hmm. difficult to explain. I understand. Um, have I have I ties with uh, Egypt? Because I have, I'm so fascinated about it. There is many ties with you. You've been there many times in past uh -huh. life. This is why. Okay. As something, as a figure, something? It is not for you to know at this time. Okay, great. No problem. Thank you very much and we we'll appreciate it. Thank you. Caroline? Yes, hi there. Um, Bast, was I in around your time? You were in Egypt, but not at my time. Okay. Yeah. You were <laughs> earlier and then again later. Okay. Um, and how tall are you? How tall were you? I'm about six foot tall on your planet. When I was on your planet. Okay, thank you. Bast, I have a question about the Sphinx. It's always been something I've been fascinated with. Underneath the Sphinx, was there a chamber in your time, or let's say chambers, and what were they used for? The Sphinx was after my time, but I know that there are chambers under there, yes. Thank you. There are many things there that will surprise you. Bast. Yes, I feel this too. Please be sure to Put the at the end. Bass. That is the feminine pronunciation. Bass. Yes. Thank you, Basta. Yes. I have a question. I have a question about the Hebrews in Egypt and the Exodus story, if you are familiar. Ah, uh, that was a, yes, I am aware of the story. 
It is an interest. The story is not exactly the same, but it did happen in many ways the same. But there are many large differences. Your 40 years in the desert was actually 60. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. At least by my calculations and our recollection of that proper history. What about the destruction of Egypt when um, the Pharaoh didn't let Moses and his people go? Was it that correct? The correct parts, yes. There were some plagues. The fact that his son died became known throughout the world. As he denied there was a god and God smote his son. This was the thing that was most important about that particular period. It promoted the single God and the power that he had. The Hebrews, the one that they worshipped. Yes, the Hebrew God. The Elohim? Elohim is beneath the Creator God. Ah, yes. Creator of worlds and the Elohim, yes. I must go now. Thank you. Namaste, Bast. Thank you for coming. Ah, thank you. Yeah, Continue with your festival of love and understanding. Be playful. Playful is important because you cannot be a war person without playfulness. You cannot be Thank strong you. without playfulness. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Much love. Namaste. Kogashi. Hello, Takara. Welcome back. <laughs> Hello. Takara. I'm Takara, and I just have come to wish a wonderful. Thank you, so much for your time. you are welcome. It has been a privilege to talk to you, and this is a holiday, and I am just here to wish you great love and understanding. It is a holiday that would seem to emphasize the importance of the ascension, the moving forward of love, the moving forward of connection. I am here to connect with all of you and to let the world know that I understand it better now than ever. 
but I have only come for a moment. If there are a few questions, I may answer. The curve, yes. I just, can, I, can I interject with just a statement? Wonderful. Okay. I just want to thank you for the changes that you have had, and I can only hope that I can come to the same understanding that you have come to uh, about humankind. Thank you. It was not easy for me at first. I understand that. I could not see who you really were because I had seen only my people and those that were very civilized. But I understand now that your civilization is going through growing pains. And so I apologize for my original thoughts. But I love you now individually. I have learned to love you individually. Is there any questions? I, I have a question. Uh, no, I, I've been feeling in my head like I'm stuck in my head something. I don't know what. And it hurts sometimes. You when you feel that? stuck in your head, yeah. then you are stuck. Say to yourself, you are no longer stuck. You are moving forward. Tell yourself you are moving forward because that is the only way not to be stuck. If you believe that you are stuck, you are. But you actually are moving forward. You cannot stay in one place at all times. Change is inevitable. Yeah. Moving forward is inevitable. The turning of your planet is inevitable. And so as you turn on your planet, you change. Yeah, I feel, like I, I feel like I change, but it's one big part of my brain that does are feeling very stuck. I cannot Well, really tell use. your brain it is not. It is moving forward. And if you say it as many times as you can, you will start to understand that that is part of your cycle. And your cycle will move forward, even though you do not understand that it is. It always will. Thank you so much, and I want to thank you for for help. And there's no problem that you fought badly in some senses from us from the beginning because that t taught you something. Yes, it did. It taught me a great lesson, and I'm thankful for that. And it was probably part of my contract as well. Yes. <laughs> Hello. How are you today? I am of great happiness. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Um, I was just uh, wishing to ask a question about uh, if uh, you have any messages for me and uh, how is my kid doing? Uh, have and when when is the chances I'll be able to teleport to physically and. Uh, interact and meet with my kid because uh, I hadn't. We are, we are working on these things now. Interaction right now has been stopped by the governments. They do not allow us to transport site to site. They say it is a breach of confidence and loyalty to the treaty that we made. We are considering breaking it anyway, but this would could be dangerous. But we would love to have you come and see your child. Yes, not our child is doing very well. What is the yeah. name of your child? All the, the children. children. What is the name? Uh, Stephen. Same as me. Yes. Yes. Yes, we do know. <laughs> they said he was cocky. Uh, that's it for me. He is very forthright and speaks his mind quite clearly and does not put up with any guff. A he word I just learned recently. Yes? Thank you. Jakar. Yes. I have a question. 
How is my yes, daughter Barbara. Finn's? You broke up, but I did not hear anything after the word daughter. How is my daughter Finza doing? Ah, Finza, very good. She is a sweet one, very calm and understanding, very quiet. And she moves, she is like you in many ways. She is very understanding and very soft in her thought patterns. She is very happy where she is, but she would like to meet you. I would love to meet her. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, hello, Sir? Tinker. Yes. Who is speaking? Ah, yes. I have a question. Uh, could you please update us with our ascension so far? This is Noah. We what about our ascension? I did not hear uh, that. Our update us with our ascension, our human colony's ascension. Yes. How are we doing? How are we doing so far? Any you are updates? moving. You have your moments when you are only moving slowly, but sometimes, like this day, you move quickly. There are times recently where you have moved very quickly forward. Not all at once, but you pull each other up, and sometimes you pull each other in a sideways, but you're still moving forward, but just slow each other down occasionally. Sometimes it is because you disagree with one another, but you are still connected and still oh. love each other, and you are doing well. You have learned much in the last year. You have learned a much, how to love each other in a much greater way, how to become a community, and how to feed off of one another's strengths. Do you understand that? Yeah, of course. Did you update me with my two kids? You are what? Update oh, me yes, with my two true. kids, my hybrid children. Yes. <laughs> Aditya and Aline, the girl. Yes, they're... One moment. Let me check on them. There are so many here now. It is hard to keep track. But you are Noha, so I understand where your children are. Yes, they are fine. And uh, they're very intelligent, both of them. One, the girl like? is very... The girl is very pretty. Great, great. And the guy? He's very handsome. strong. And I'm, yes, I'm sure he will become more handsome. He is Great. still going through a period of change. Great. I asked for more two, two more kids. Handsome. Yeah, yes. good. I want two more kids also. Another girl and another, another boy. We are trying to handle the hybrid population. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, appreciate it. I love you so much. Love Thank you too. as well. Thank you. Are you saying we can request children? Yeah, you can request children. But it's a longer process now, just as coming to the colonies is a longer process because we now have almost 300 people coming to the colonies. And so we have to spread them out so that we can handle the influx. So some of you that have gone many times in the past have not gone recently because we're bringing new people there understandably to have some lessons but you will be coming back the the thing is right now is that there are so many of you that want to come it is becoming uh, difficult to schedule 300 individuals in the different colonies especially with all the work that we're doing with the weather as you know the weather there is different than it has been ever before, at least in your time. The crew. Can you Yes. Me? How are you? I am wonderful, sure. I am glad to speak to you. I'm glad as well. I want to ask if I can have any Lyran hybrid children. 
if I can uh, be yes, on I the think list. You already did ask that. Um, I believe you wrote asked that before, and that is being processed already. Really, I never asked yeah. that. Uh, in Perhaps this you asked. It. Are you sure? Because yes. I believe that you are being processed at this time for a Lyran child. It may take a little while since we have so many requests, but we did hear yours. Hmm. If I can have um, a female and a male, if there will be room for them, it will be like... Would you like twins? Hmm, okay. A female and a male. male. Now, twins. Hmm. Yes. That can be arranged. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I want to know if my Syrian infusion started. It has. You are at 1.3%. Mm -hmm. Can I give Can you, you permission? Feel lighter? Do you feel yes. a little lighter within the like, last five days? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Can I ask for more? Once we've completed that, we will check and see if more is available to be given to you, if you could handle more. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if I could complete my Yahil, I believe I have nearly 10%. You are done with your Yahil. That is why the Syrian is started. Ah, so I have 10% Yahil? Yes. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Hello, Tucker. This is Brian. Brian, how are you? Good, my friend. How um, is your children? Logan's doing okay. He's doing better. Um, I think he's handling it okay. Sometimes he wakes up and he has like these beans that are looking at him. Um, it's died down a lot. It's not so intense, which that's what I've been really hoping for, so it's not so intense for him. Um, yes. But that's he, the one we were trying to make it less frightening for him. Especially when he sleeps. He doesn't mind it every once in a while during the day. It's just when he's trying to sleep. He, he really needs he's his rest. He's ultra sensitive to the beings around him. Yes. It is very rare to have someone that's sensitive. Yes. So it is not. they are not even aware that he sees them until he becomes frightened. Yes, I understand now. Uh, the other thing is... This coming May, the month of May, um, I'm going to make a request to come out and visit Jim uh, yeah. for at least three, three to four days. Um, I will be... meet with you. Yes, I will meet with you and have some sessions and Reiki sessions. And uh, it's yes. time that we talk about contact. And I, w I, I, I want to give you a hug and your and through Jim, through you. Very so good. I love, I love you very much, my friend. Thank you. I love you as well. You will have many great qualities. Hi, right. Hello, Who is Dukur. Yes. Caroline. Hi, Dukur. Caroline, is yes. that correct? Hello. Hello. What is your question? Um, yeah. I, he did not hear any question. Okay. Has Freya been born yet? Not yet. Okay. Um, also, have I got any chakra blockages and also is my pineal gland healthy? One moment and I will check for you. Thank you. I will send, I will get the message from those that are around you protecting you. Thank you. There is no blockages, but they need brightened. The silver chakra in your aura is dull. They will help you with that. Thank also, you. you have your sacral chakra and solar plexus chakras 
are needing brighten. Your heart chakra is fine, but it is being affected by the other dullnesses. Okay. Yeah, I did wonder. Your third eye is not opening as quickly as I would want, but it yeah. is opening very slowly. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else, um, I can do to kind of help things along? It will open. There are things that you are doing that are fine. Your meditations are not as deep as they could be. Okay. That will I'm help. Just... Okay. Um, how about my pineal gland? Is that um, calcified or is that fine? One moment. I will check with those around you. Thank you. Do you feel pressure at the top of your mouth, on the roof of your mouth? Not really. Do you feel a tingling there? Um, not, not really. Okay, one moment, please. What about now? Yeah. Yeah. Your pineal gland is in healthy shape. Lovely. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, much love. Much love, Lainey. Uh, hello, Tucker. How are you? I'm fine. I wanted to ask if I'm going through any changes energetically or physically because I've been feeling different for the past few days. That is... If you do not mind me speaking freely, that is sort of a private matter. That's fine. They are actually attuning your genitals to be able to mate with others. Is that all? There is other things happening as well. Um, there is a slight change in thought process and there is a slight change in the beat of the heart. Because if they are going to use you in the attendant manner before we are able to transport, of course, um, there are some changes that had to be made. Oh, also, what's going on with my forehead? Also, the permission for, yes. Oh, permission. Um, also, what's yes, going on in my forehead? Whatever it takes, so that is what they're doing. Wait, I told them that? You told them that it would be fine if you went through some changes, and they are doing that. So what's going on in my forehead? Yes, my that's the third eyes. eye. The, the activation of the third eye helps with the different things in the body. Yes, it is like an overseer to the changes. Oh, thank you. But there okay. will not be that much change. Do not be uh, uh, mm -hmm. concerned. You will not notice any major changes. These are all very subtle. Oh, are you able to go any further into what these changes would do? Um, not at this time. But you will understand. Yes, yes. Is like an overseer to the changes. Thank yes. you. Um, yes. Thank you. You will understand all the changes after they are complete because you will notice a greater, more vitality within yourself. A greater vitality, I should say. Uh, could you repeat that? There were some audio issues. You will discover a greater vitality within yourselves when everything is complete, 
even though they are sub subtle, they will affect your energy fields in a positive way. Okay. What's my field like uh, now? Fine. You okay. are healthy. Healthy. Yes. Thank you. You okay, go on. to invite Dan and also Hyann to speak. Hyann, I just want to mention a big thank you for dropping earlier and allowing space. Much love, brother. Uh, if that's if that's fine with Shabapo, uh, because uh, she was before in the order, so I don't mind waiting for a um, couple more questions before I speak. Very good. Continue. Who is next? Uh, I am. I am. But, um, all right. <clears throat> Hello, Tucker. Much love to you. Much love to you, Hayan. Thank you for all that you do. You are a very helpful human. Oh, glad to hear that. So, Continue. Um, uh, can what I, I heard from uh, Buddha that your third eye could be too open? Yes. What, what would that uh, mean? That your eye, third eye, can be too open when you bring in everything and not just the things that should be brought in. The third eye can be controlled. Of course, people want to have it open. The opening of the third eye in a proper way will make you understanding and wise and give you vision into fourth dimensional thought patterns. If you open your third eye too far, which is usually not by choice, usually it is by drug addiction, uh, drug enhancement, or different outside things that will cause it to open up too wide, then you will see things as you will not be able to live in a third dimensional thought pattern. Let me put it that way. Your thought patterns will be extreme. You will then be craving perhaps too much sex, perhaps too much uh, stimulation for your body because your third eye is too open. It causes overstimulation of every part of your body, including the brain. Does that make sense to you? So you won't be satisfied by... You would not be satisfied and you could not grow properly when your body, when your third eye is too open. Now, the, the reason it gets too open is with the help of drugs, usually, or with a psychotic break. Something in the brain is chemically not functioning correctly, and it causes that to open wide and your senses become addictive. And they become you. You have addictive personality. Then you would want drugs, or you would want food, or you would want. Oh, you're. But you would not be normal. You would not sense reality the way that it should be sensed. Or you would want DNA too much. No, that's the DNA would not change necessarily, but be. And parts of it would be activated that would not necessarily, or overactivated that would not necessarily be that activated. Mm. So, okay. now, I will tell you, I'd give you an example of this. There are some that are in autistic states or different mental states that their third eye opens very wide and they cannot understand third dimension. They live in a fourth dimensional activity. They, mm. they see third dimension as very literal, meaning they cannot sense the abstract parts of it. There are abstract parts to the third dimension. They only see the abstract parts when they're in their fourth dimensional thought pattern, when they're in the third eye wide open, and they cannot relate that to Earth. So when you say something like, check your work, they would put a check mark on it. 
that example was given to me by someone else. Instead of them re-looking over their work, when you say check it, they put a check mark on it because their third dimensional understanding is literal. Does that make sense to you? The abstract part of that would be to reassess your work. But all they can see is the, the literal. Does that make sense to you? That's just one example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes so a lot of sense. Why there are people confused about religion. They can only see the literal part of it because there was some chemical problems in their brain and everything is literal and nothing can be understood properly because the Bible, in many senses, is a diagram of symbols and, and um, thought patterns that are abstract. But yet they see everything literally there. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan, welcome. Jump in, and then I can ask again. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it was about the idea of the literal um, being taken literally. Uh, perhaps the um, the understanding that sometimes we aren't very specific when we're speaking. It can also play a fundamental part to. Yes, confusing people who have um, symptoms such as autism and so on. Perhaps, yes. perhaps uh, as a species, we also need to kind of accept that there are people who do take things extremely literally. Exactly. So, not in people. the way of changing ourselves, but in the way of expanding to allow these people to have a, that little bit extra freedom with the way that they work as well. Yes, because they see it as they are being correct. Do you understand? The literal is the correct in the third dimension, whereas it that is a deception because they are not correct, but they see the literal as correct. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So kind of like a double-edged so sword. They... They do not perceive the abstract part of third dimension and therefore when they live in their fourth dimension it is totally abstract without any third dimension. Yeah, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. I understood what you said and I hope I understood the an you understood the answer. Yeah. So if you want to uh, decrease these, uh, this opening of the third eye, if it's too I'm much. Meditate. Yes, there are, you can meditate with your third eye wide open. You can still meditate. And if you so know that your third eye is wide open, which many do not, then you can do a meditation to close it. And you can have others close it for you. If you detect that someone's third eye is wide open all the way to the, the, bray, the sides of the head, the head, you can help them by meditating for them to help it to close because they cannot perceive properly. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. This good. is a very... I could speak about the third eye being too open for... A lot of time, but yeah, it does not really not very good because most of you, ninety nine percent of you, have your eyes opening properly. Yeah, it is. It is not the common thing. Yeah, I felt that my third eye is very open, but now that you gave that explanation, I don't think it's too open. I think no, it is not. You are fine. Yeah. You are fine. Okay, um, so my I feel that I my dreams were very very clear for one one time, and I still have a lot of dreams, but they have become more symbolic again. And yes. I feel the difference when I'm in Hukula or just astrally or or or. But uh, there's there has been a shift, like 
you could say a decrease of remembrance. Uh, and I wonder why is that? Is it my subconscious that? No, you just need a break from it for now. It you cannot continue to have lucid dreaming constantly. You have to have a break from it. You have to have regular REM sleep because it does affect your sleep. So do not worry about that. It will return when it is supposed to. These vivid dreams, very meaningful, but they must slow down and then speed back up. You are on, every human has a wave. Every being has a wave, has a frequency. So that is part of the frequency that you become. And part of that lucid dreaming will come back. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I sometimes feel I enjoy the regular dreams as well. Yeah. But who is uh, doing that in me? Who is or giving is you the lucid dreams? No, who you is are. Uh, decreasing, decreasing it? Who is it? You are. Dream? Your body functions are on wavelengths. Your body knows when you need to rest, and your body knows when you can handle greater sensitivity, and your body knows when your brain is a very intricate machine, and it knows when to slow down and when to speed up. And it does it automatically, just like your heart automatically beats. All right, thank you very much. You're Sabrina welcome. had a dream. She was in her bedroom with her son, and uh, they got up to get, uh, there was water coming down from the ceiling uh, and to the walls, and they got up and went to the hallway to go and, uh, and out, of my, out of her room, something, and there was a spaceship, she saw a spaceship, and... Uh, yes. Uh, when, when individuals are in a dream state and are moving through astral projections, they sometimes appear to be sea water because they are in a watery like feeling. And so that would make sense to me. However, the her son is also part of another dimension, another thought process, and another part of Yukolo as well. It is difficult. I will speak to her about it. Okay, okay. Maybe it's too difficult to, to talk about it is this. not. It is not pertinent to the group. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much. Yikaga. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Clara, ask a question. Oh, I thought Barbara was going next, but um, I have ah, questions. Is, is there more okay? questions? Yes. I was not aware. Continue. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Um, I had, while walking and sharing energy, I connected to a being it felt like in the water, and I wasn't sure whether it was a mermaid or a siren. Um, what else in that dream? What else? It, you connected to a I being in the water. It, it, Did you see it? Did you see the being? In the water? Yes. Single body. It was. You saw something in the water. Yes. But I wasn't anywhere near water. I understand. Yes, that would be only a mer only a mermaid could do that. Send a vision to you when you are not near the water. And they oh. do exist. They still do. And all the worlds know about them. All governments know that mermaids still exist. Oh. Why they do not want anyone to know is a it's a <laughs> because um. they do well, I wasn't sure if it was an aspect of me. 
It, it could be in some senses. They are an aspect of you. You are an aspect of them. You are one in your thought pattern. When they send, when they send a thought, you become one. Mm, okay. Yes. Also, I had a question about my. Um, you, you said my hybridization of the Usas and the Lyran, and it was a couple. It was four of them. Yes. How is that going? Very well. We will speak about that. But you are you, uh, the Yugil is finished. Oh, my Yugil is finished. Very yes. nice. And um, they, there was another one starting, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. They have okay. to check and see that the Yugil has taken and will be fine. Okay, very well. Also, I wanted to ask a question about soul codes. Because I asked this of Douglas, but I'm not sure if he knew too much information about it. And I had so, a dream. Soul codes, C O D E S, codes. Oh, yes, codes, yes. Um, what about? Did I provide any for a planet? Yes, you did. You have an understanding of soul codes that not many do. You see, the, the coding of the soul is the contract. Once the contract is married, the soul must be coded. This is what you do. And it can be coded in different ways in different species. So you have an understanding of how to do it in about four different species. But there are others that code other species. But this one, but you have a, an understanding of the coding for four species. Because I, I keep seeing a gentleman's face from my dream. What yes. planet did I go to? You went to several. Which one are you talking about? There was one where, it for some reason, a passport was very important. And everyone looked as if they were from an Indian-type country, like the features, either Arabic or Indian. Mm -hmm. And Okay. There was this huge party, and they were all amazed that I was there. And who yes. are they? Um, I cannot tell you at this time. I know who they are, and I will speak to you about it. Okay. They Thank cannot you. be named at this time because they are two galaxies away. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, the children. I would like to know yeah. how they are doing. I believe there's five of them. <laughs> yes. Can you give me some names so I can check on them individually? Okay. There is... Ooh, I wrote them down because there's so many. The long doll. Continue. I'm trying to find their names. Oh no! <laughs> but um, can... they're Lyran, Lyran and uh, human. There is a uh, Octarian one, I believe. Yes. Uh, there are so many children. It's best to have their names. Yes, I know. I know. Oh my goodness! I I didn't know I was going to be able to speak with you, but you can let someone go ahead if. Someone All right. I gotta find I it someone else. Is there anyone that has a question? I must go I'm, to. Yeah. Oh, um, not so much of a question, though, to her. It's um, more of okay. than a language understanding. Um, people speaking at once. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll just go ahead with it. Tuatakasha tutu nuakala. Utakato shotunuko, yataka, 
Stika tu kudu snak ditaš. Tiera kukara e. Era hošo. E, hostukua. Thank you very much. Mukurcham kwa. Muha. One quick question, please, uh, to her. I've been told that my third eye is open, and yet uh, I don't see anything much of it. It's only what I see and by the clouds. You are not. You are not focused on it. You are. You're focused on your third dimension, which it will also do. But when you focus in your meditations on the third eye, you should find many other things. Okay. Just. Thank Sika. you. Um, is Jim okay? Um, everything at the moment. Uh, are you fine to carry on for a few more questions? A few more questions will be acceptable. I Thank have you. the names now. I would like to, um, to invite Ruth and Mikey. Um, also, Sarah has a follow-up. And we're going to end it there, guys. Yes. Uh, Mustafa. Mustafa. Ahashara. Vincent Jin, uh, Geliunia, oh, that's the one from a thousand years, never mind with that one. Um, Mustafa, oh. he got Yeah. Yes, very, Mustafa is good. Um, Mustafa is good. Very, very strong. Um, powerful muscles. It seems oh. that he, physicality is very strong. Yes. The brain is also strong. However, brutal strength, very strong. Interesting. And actually, not harmful though. A calm disposition. Yes, continue. Mm -hmm. What was another name? Ahashara. Ah, Ahashara. Very pleasant, very, but uh, quick to anger. Um, very human likeness. <laughs> what is funny? <laughs> you say quick to anger. <laughs> is that is that all right? Yeah. I mean that is what, what it is, but um, okay, continue. Okay. There's much Vin I cannot Vin stay Sinjin. long. Vincent. 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 Greetings, you watch out for a while. They will have to check on Vincent. There, no report has come in today. But the the last report is that Vincent is is um, walking around, talking uh, a great deal of uh, knows two languages already. Oh, okay. lovely. Well, I'll stop there and let other people go. Agigawa. Very headstrong, very, very intelligent, but headstrong. Okay. Uh, There's vision in his vi The vision is far beyond a normal, the norm. Continue. Mm -hmm. Corlin. Corlin. Very demure, shy. Very not confident yet, but um, smart and resourceful. So entertains herself a lot. Continue. Continue to the next. Uh, it says Pleiadian boy, but um, did I ever give a name? No, you never did. Okay. Uh, Samson. Samson. Gigua koshun chipokwa. Pleiadian chip. Playful. <laughs> Curious. Tss. 
very, very vocal, constantly talking. Constantly talking and playing and interacting, questioning everything. Lovely. Thank you. Yes. I'm not sure if you will have any information of the child a thousand years in the future. No, I would not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. okay. Next. Ruth, Ruth, would you like to go ahead? And also, Mikey, I'd like to give an opportunity just briefly, if please make them brief, to go and Jim are both very tired. Uh, hello, Tucker. This is Safira. Safira, hello. Hi. <laughs> I have a, a two questions. Um, you know that uh, our Liren son was born. Right, um, Jace, yes. Jacob, Jacob. Um, without saying the other party's name until they want to say it. Um, it how already much has been announced. Oh, they did. Okay, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, how much DNA is mine and how much is his? I'm curious. It was 50 50. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. That is the way it always is when there is a two donors, they make sure that they are equal. Okay, thank you very much. And um, I had a um, question. My son, I had a dream that my son, an ET, was taking blood out of my son's head with a, with a, it was connected to some, some tubes, and they were taking blood out of his head. <laughs> and I, this is Benedetto, and I have no idea what that could possibly mean. I don't know if you do. Well, hopefully it was a dream, but they're infusing him with wisdom and thoughts and they're taking uh, away some of his for fear of the things that he must do uh, that is all it is more okay. symbolic than realistic I see okay um, thank you I have been trying to communicate with you about Jason uh, I've been trying to talk with you. Are you having trouble getting through to me? Am I blocked to you to some reason, for some reason? You are around many relatives. Um, you need to be away from them for me to communicate. <laughs> oh, I see, but I live here. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good to talk with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any others, or should I leave now? No, it's up Mike, to you and no. to Jim. Um, Mike. Mikey. Mike, you're next, I think. Yes, hello. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. <laughs> yes, uh, this week I was taken up during my dream to a planet with two suns. Yes. And I was there with a group. Yeah, yeah this, yes. one, this one, it was a gathering. And yes. uh, th they asked a group of um, six of us to stand up, and then they asked me to stand up and said, come forward. And there was about 10,000 people there. Yes. And I jumped in the air and was caught in a tractor beam, and I turned to the man, which I couldn't really see his face, and said, will you take care of me? He said, yes. And then I was pulled yes. forward towards a stage, and it felt like ecstasy and I was being cleaned and then something flashed and I woke up and it's yes. been bothering me ever since and I was just wondering if you can read anything on that well you were not alone there were the six uh, people that were there were from human colony all oh and it was a celebration of different things it was a congratulatory get-together for things that you have done and experienced and growth that you have made. Kim <laughs> was also there. Um, yeah, there, there was some people looking at me like I was an orb, but they like looked through me, yes. but I could still see them. And there's some people here that I, I, I haven't been here in a while, but and I don't know what they look like, but they were looking at me, and I, I sort of knew them. 
Some were uh, yeah. Indian looking. Some had long blonde hair, short hair, and I don't know what these people really look like. Most of them. Kim has but I really... long blonde hair. Oh, cool. Well, then I saw it, it, it's quite an experience in that tractor beam. I'm used to going upwards into a ship, but I was going horizontally. That is fine. Yeah. Floating. It was a celebration from Amotok's civilization. Oh, well, blessings and, and thank you. And I wish that again for everyone, too. <laughs> Kim works with Almatar quite exclusively at this point. But she was there because there were some congratulatory things happening. Also, there was other people from Human Colony that were being rewarded for some of their actions. Oh, well, congratulations. And there was also a floating toy beside me. And I guess it was a representation of who was on the ship. There was three peop three um, beings. One yes. I thought was a doctor. One I thought was security. And one I yes. thought was head head of ship. And I was showing people, oh, this is where we're going. Yes. And these three people are represented on this toy. Does that make sense? Yes. D's do to Kerr and Pen uh, to Pat. Incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'm speechless. Thank you, and I love you, and have a nice, lovely day. <laughs> yes, have a wonderful day. Happy Valentine's Day. And to you. <laughs> Thank you, Tikka. Thank you, Tikka. I'm going to go now. Thank you, Jimmy. love you. Say Thank hello you. to Kalish for me. Yawachikwata ho. Motokuwa kwasha. Wonderful blessings. And to you, dear yeah. one. Thank you so much. And uh, <laughs> look forward to your next oh, yeah. uh, challenge. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hi, Hi. Jim. Welcome back. Uh, Hi, where did you... Oh, here it is. Hi, Jim. Hi. Hi, Hi Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, It's not working. <laughs> How are you feeling, Jim? Great. I feel good. Perfect. Excellent. That was great. There was a lot of uh, a lot of questions today. Uh, Takura was a little bit uh, uh, needed some time. I think she wanted to get out. I wasn't sure if you were tired or not. I was feeling it myself. Um, maybe. Well, she always leaves me feeling great, so I don't know why. I think more she was tired than me. So okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she's been working really hard with the weather and doing a lot of input and information and. Checking in with me and checking in with a lot of different people, and um, she's constantly busy. So I, if she's tired, I understand that. So <laughs> she's well, very, very, very um, busy, for sure. Very, yes. very busy. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for that today, Jim. You're as wonderful as ever, and uh, my heart goes out to you for doing. What oh, you're doing. thanks. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. You yeah. too. Yeah. Thank you. Valentine's Day to you. And um, Jim, are you are your eyes better? My eyes are getting better. The you see, it, I have to explain. My right eye is not good anyway. So when I had an operation on the left eye, I was almost like incapacitated. But now I'm starting to see more uh, distance, and I'm also starting to see close up because when I I couldn't use my phone for a couple of days because when I went to certain pages, it would have been like total blank. Even though there was writing on the page, it would look white. So mm -hmm. that was not a good feeling. I was going, <laughs> so um, not happy. But now I can see the pages. I can see uh, the writing, and uh, and I have my magnifying glass. If the writing's too small, I can actually see it now. So. Yes, things are moving forward in a positive way. So when I don't think I'll be able to drive until I get 
new glasses, which will be not till the second operation and all the uh, and everything balances out, then I'll get a new prescription for both eyes. So it's ridiculous to get a prescription for one eye. <laughs> so it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. I'm but, happy to uh, know everything went okay. Good. Is there anybody that would like to do a blessing today? Sabrina is not with us. Um, I so would. That was, um, there, I would also. Okay, great. You um, who would, Sarah, you go first. Ladies before gentlemen. And uh, Raleigh, <laughs> is, is there any announcements before they start? Um, just uh, let people know about our website, www.humancolony.org. If you have enjoyed today's session and got something from it, it's been gracious to have the message about Valentine's from Michael. And also, Bast coming through was absolutely fantastic. Bast coming through was absolutely fantastic. So, thank you very much. And if you'd like to make donations, you can do on the page. Thank you. What was that? Um, Thanks, Rory. I, oh, sorry. Thank you. Rory, I have a question. The webinar about contact, is it to continue with this link? We just stay here, or is there another link? Do you know about yes, that? Yes, there is another webinar happening in a few hours, I believe, with Sabrina about contact. Um, this is something Sabrina has organized. Um, it's uh, actually after, after this Hangout. So, uh, oh, it's directly after. Oh, beg my pardon. Yeah. Okay. So we will uh, we will send the link in the chat boxes. Okay, okay. Okay, thank yeah. you, Mr. and thank you, Robin. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, all the YouTube viewers, for tuning in today, and we'll leave you with a few beautiful messages from our loved ones. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rowie, for being here and organizing. <laughs> Congratulations on your engagement. Your Kim and Rowie are engaged. So. Oh, you guys are engaged. Oh my awesome. goodness! Congratulations. Oh, Ooh. that's so lovely. <laughs> and as you can see, Rowie is in Australia, and he will be there for three months. <laughs> Upside down. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Was that was I allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't ask permission. They said they were going to make an announcement. It's pretty official now. Oh, you were going to make the announcement. You didn't. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, did it. You did it for us, Jim. It was Thank perfect you. coming from you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but you said you were going to make that announcement, but you didn't, so I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I love, I love you both very much. Many blessings. And um, <laughs> yeah, smooches. Love you. you. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, okay, Sarah, you want to start the blessing? Yes. <laughs>
Sanaki Sanakai Sakaya Tomata Akaya Sakaya Tomashati Nakaya Love exists in all parts of the universe, in every civilization, in every culture. In every being, there is some love. Let us light up the universe together with these beautiful thoughts of love, bringing to one another, even when cultures that we meet may not want to spend time with us or be with us, we can still offer them the community of love within our hearts. We know that you, as a community, are building your love for one another and bringing your lights forward so that your civilization can be a brighter light in the galaxy as well as the universe. We offer ourselves to you as friends. We offer ourselves to you in the sense that we will commune with you. We do not find you as ugly as you may find us, but we are not to be hated for what we look like, but loved for what we represent in the universe. Let us connect in every way and sensibility that is possible so that we may bring understanding to even other species that may not wish to touch or be close to us, but we can connect through the bonds of love and send a light that will be brilliant and understood. When you finish, should I do my blessing? Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. There was a time when we did not understand and could not be close. But now you pierce our hearts with love. You let us know that there is a sensation of goodness and well-being within you, and it transfers to us so well. We are there to help you along, and you are there to help us as well, because the understanding between us grows closer every day. Let us dwell in the same places, let our lights mingle and become a sun, a bright vision of thought. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> so beautiful. Both of those blessings. So beautiful. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, they're very. It One was our story for sure. What was the name of your species, Sarah? The Naga. The Naga, that's right. The Naga. It's a definitely to civilization speaking to us. Yes, they're... Oh, it, well, I think they all... They had messages that would go with Valentine's Day, so... Mm-hmm. That was, uh, I think uh, they wanted to connect that way, so that's cool. That's beautiful, guys. Very, very cool. Uh, um, Brian, would you be willing to do a blessing? Um, who, you just me? popped in at the right moment, maybe. Who? Brian. Brian, uh, our uh, love guru. <laughs> you know, I get a chance, I'd like to do one, too. Oh, sure. All right, yes. go ahead. Say that one more time again. What am I doing? A I'm love blessing. <laughs> Iaka ni shiakatano, wasa kaniya rakato hua, iniya shakatana, iakataya sakotua, iniya 
i kato hosho toa ni a kanane i a rakoskurua. Distance no longer exists, nor does time, but love exists in every space in between thoughts and actions. Therefore, you give to one another continuously fueling each other. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Lovely. All right. I'll just I'll do mine now. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all. Happy Valentine's Day. Love to you all. Me too, Stephen. Thank you. You're welcome. I and was a cane that he washed the cook at the nook. Ah, what did you to act as a kind of cost to poor pattern? You can see that to rustle what he never is a catania. Who's not a tiny cost like a pattern got to look at your shetter? Who got to the shetter of money? Cut it or what you got to look at. All attention is faced on you, you draw us to you. You are the face of light now that comes to brightness. Now from dim to brightness, and now from not understanding to understanding, you bring to us some interest that we bring as well back to you. There is something about you that we feel and negotiate with in our hearts that will dwell with us for all times in our history. And you will take us in as well, for we are understanding and pulling to you our hearts. Now that there is connection and brightness between us, let us understand the difference is not so different, and the sameness is ultimately the universe's way of speaking to your heart. Let us now come together in just thought, and one day we will physically hold you in our arms. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So we've been Human Colony. Thank you so much for tuning in. We see you next week for our weekly webinar. And yes. Much love to you all, one and all, on this Valentine's Day. To you too, Rally, and to Kim. Much straight to you, Jim, and everybody else. And your guests. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Love to everybody. Bye. Everyone in the room, everyone in the swirl, and everyone in the galaxies. <laughs> love you all. <laughs> yeah, so many places represented here.